Hello chess fans, in today's video I'm going to be playing another Blitz game and we're against Nino1976, so we're going to be playing e5, okay that's a free pawn, that's the king's gambit, he plays knight f3, let's play the fisher variation, and if the bishop c4 I remember h6 is the move, so I'm going to go h6 anyways because I'm, uh, I'll am i be honest I have no idea what the theory is here, I'm going to go g5 because I kind of want to defend this pawn, he goes g3, I think you probably take that, and then go bishop g7, knight e7, something like this. Okay, h6. I'm going to go bishop g7. If bishop c4, bishop e6 looks pretty reasonable. Okay, I'm going to go... Okay, I think I'm going to go with bishop g4 because I prevent queen d2. So yeah, bishop g4. Because I don't want him to play queen d2. I want him to play bishop e2 first. Yeah. And I want him to waste a move with that. And now I could go knight c6. Or... I could go like here, queen g6. Queen f6 to put pressure here. Make him play like rook f1. Well, I guess, yeah, because I just want him to not move his queen. But I guess I could also play queen d7. Okay, I'm going to go for knight uh, c6, queen d7, and castle's queen side. Because my king side over here is pretty tender. So yeah, I'm going to go for this. And I'm going to castle queen side. And then I should just be up a pawn, I think. Not 100% sure. Not really familiar with the lines in the King's Gambit. Okay, he goes there, which I think was a good move, I guess, because he has bishop b5. Okay, so I'm going to go here, and I have to go c6. Okay, I'm going to go knight e5. I have to do that. If takes here, I have to take with the bishop, I guess. And then he goes bishop b5. That was his idea. Oh, uh, not there. Bishop b5. Kind of missed this. I have to go c6, takes, takes, but... It is what it is. I don't think it's that bad. If bishop b5, c6, takes, takes. He goes back. And I take here with check. I I think I... It's really dangerous, but I think it's pretty good for me still. So if I were him, maybe I would... Uh, I don't know. This position looks pretty bad. Maybe I would play like bishop d4 after taking here or something. But no, even then, because then I'd take here. So yeah, this is really unpleasant. If he goes c6, bishop b5, I think that's... His best option. Okay, he goes for that instead. So I'm just going to trade this bishop off. I don't want that bishop there anymore. And then I think I'm going to go for castle's queen side. If he goes bishop takes here, I have b6. a5, bishop b7. So if castle's queen side, bishop takes a6, b6. Like queen b4, king here, queen here. The, the bishop's trapped. So yeah, I'm just going to go here. Oh, wait, I just realized he can take here. Psych, I have this defended. Okay, so that was pretty funny. But, yeah, I think he just missed that I had this defended. And, and funny enough, so did I, but I think this is now uh, uh, GG's from here. Uh, I'm going to go knight e7 to go knight g6. Yeah, that looks good. And then go like bishop e5, knight g6. I have a nice hold on this square. The knight can never come in because this pawn's doing a nice job blockading. If he tries to go after this pawn, I just go here, so... Yeah, he went after the pawn. Let's go knight g6. Uh, he can't sacrifice still. The knight landing on e5 is probably too much. His knight probably wants to be on f5, but as long as I don't allow the knight there, that's probably good for me. Next, I probably want to play like rook e8. Bishop here, here is an idea to pin the queen, but uh, yeah, let's just play rook e8. Attack this pawn right here. And he probably has to go back to defend it. I can go like queen g4. And if he takes here, I would... Yeah, I might as well just keep it simple. Might after like bishop here, queen here. I might as well go like here. If queen e three, what would I do? Um, I probably go. He went knight f four. Okay, well I guess if I take take like this. If I if I take here, he takes here. Okay, I'm just gonna take because I don't really see the problem with taking. Yeah, I'm gonna take. Go here and play f six probably. So now go bishop e5. This is all defended. And go f6. And this bishop will be uh, pretty nice here. Then I can go to the h file maybe. And f6. This bishop is uh, pretty nice. And if queen g6. Uh, I can probably keep it simple. I'll just go b6. Just to create luft. Make the position pretty safe for black. Then move my king. Play queen d8. Try to get activity over here. So, uh, yeah, just let's go here. Um, yeah, I'm going to go here now to prevent the rook from really doing any damage. And he goes there, which makes me think that I probably have to go here. 
and his queen has really no entry other than trading queens. If he goes here, I assume I'm mating after something like this. Uh, maybe not, but I doubt I should even risk it. Maybe I should just go here and uh, trade queens like this. Yeah, that seems much more uh, natural. Plus, I'm also threatening, like, uh, what else would I be threatening? I'm threatening this pawn if he moves his queen, but yeah, this queen trade is just going to happen no matter what. So, seems like we've pretty much defused the king's gambit pretty well. Um, yeah, that that's... Okay, yeah, he resigned, so I guess we can go to analysis. I'm not sure if the setup would be ruined, but yeah, I'll just bring this over here so you guys can see the engine. And uh, so let's just see. We go d6. Yeah, I'm not too familiar. h6. Okay, g5 was best first. I remember that uh, in another line of the King's Gambit, if they go here, you're supposed to go here, but uh, I guess I uh, misremembered. And I took here, took here, played bishop g7. This position, I think bishop g4 is a good move. Yeah, the engine likes it too. And I thought this plan was good by me. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe he should just castle. And then thinking, as we saw in the game, I thought a6 would have probably been good here. The engine says it's right about equal, but um, like I, I prefer uh, black. I think black has ample winning chances. Here he just uh, missed the fact that I was uh, defended, and the rest of this game was pretty good. So I guess we can uh, request the computer analysis. And yeah, that's a pretty uh, just uh, sure-proof way to deal with King's Gambit, to play the Fisher defense with d6. It's uh, it's avoiding the main lines with something like here, here, and like g4, and like the long, the knight e5. I remember knight e5 is uh, supposed to be theoretically um, at least uh, pretty good for uh, uh, white. So yeah, here you can see the analysis at the end of the game. I'll just move my uh, camera up again. So yeah, I played 38 center pawn. Inaccuracies were somewhere in the opening. But yeah, that's a pretty easy way to defuse the gambit. And that's the end of today's video. If you liked the video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.